Hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'll be talking about the experiment, Chemical Kinetics. In this experiment, we will be looking at various factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction. The reaction that we'll be looking at in this experiment is the one between crystal violet and sodium hydroxide, and we will be using a spectrometer to measure uh, the absorbance of uh, this reaction, as well as the Logger Pro software. At the beginning of your experiment, load the Logger Pro uh, program, and we'll first need to calibrate the instrument. To do this, we're going to go into Experiment, and then select Calibrate, and Spectrometer 1. The lamp will then warm up for about 90 seconds. And we're then going to place our uh, blank in our sample. The blank for this experiment is going to be distilled water. So you will fill up your cuvette about 3 quarters of the way using your distilled water wash bottle. Give it a quick wipe and place the cuvette inside the spectrometer so that the clear side of the cuvette is facing the detector and the lamp. Then click on finish calibration and it will just take a few seconds to initialize and then click OK. And then you'll see in the um, display in the corner that the absorbance is more or less zero. So the next part of the uh, experiment is you're going to run uh, an absorption spectrum of the crystal violet solution. The solution will be provided to you by your TA and um, you're going to um, add a couple of aliquots of your crystal violet solution to your cuvette. Fill up your cuvette Give it a quick wipe You'll then place the cuvette in the spectrometer And then when you're ready to run the absorption spectrum, click collect After a few seconds you should see a spectrum pop up and once you've obtained this you can then click stop uh, and then just some additional things that you can do is that you can remove the um, background spectrum by right clicking on the graph select graph options and uncheck draw visible spectrum click done and then you have a much clearer picture of your graph Make sure that you save this graph, and to do so, hit function print screen on your laptop. And paste the file, or rather paste the picture, in Word. And make sure that you save this Word document so that you can uh, obtain uh, printouts of your spectra later on. Once you have collected your spectra, you're going to want to then set up your graphs for your next experiment. So for the next part of the experiment, we're going to need to uh, configure the spectrometer so that it is running at our maximum wavelength. To do this, we go to configure spectrometer. And under collection mode, we're going to go check off absorbance versus time. In the drop-down menu below, we're going to select individual wavelengths, clear any current selections that we have in this list, and we're going to scroll down to around 590 nanometers, and then click OK. 
If you get a message that pops up asking you about your latest uh, data collection, since you've obtained the spectra and pasted it in Word, you can click No. So the next thing we need to do is uh, tell the program how long we want to run our experiment for. So to do this, we're going to go into Experiment and then click on Data Collection. And we want to change the length of our data collection to 20 minutes. And then we can click Done. So now our software is ready to run the next experiment. Now we have to prepare our sample. Now since we uh, just ran a spectra of crystal violet, we're going to need to rinse out the cell. So to do this, just take your wash bottle, dump your solution out in a waste beaker, and rinse out the cell with water. Now, sometimes what happens is once in a while, we'll get a little bit of purple showing up in our cuvette. Often what can happen is that the crystal violet will stick to the cuvette. And if that's the case, you can go and ask your TA for a solution of one molar hydrochloric acid and give that a quick rinse. This will remove any trace amount of crystal violet left over in your cuvette. So you just want to rinse it a couple of times. Then make sure that you rinse out the acid with some distilled water. And then fill up the distilled water solution Give your cuvette a quick wipe. And just check the absorbance on the, uh, on the water solution. You want to make sure that in the active display of the absorbance that it's reading around zero. The last digit might fluctuate a little bit, but as long as it is hovering around the zero value, then it's fine. If any of the other digits start fluctuating, then you might need to re-rinse the cuvette. So now we'll prepare our reaction. So to prepare our reaction, we're going to mix nine milliliters of crystal violet solution and as well one milliliter of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So you'll grab an empty 50 milliliter beaker and pipette nine mils. And then to this, we're going to add one milliliter of sodium hydroxide. Now, when you add the sodium hydroxide, you'll want to start timing the reaction. It's going to run for a total of a minute. In the first 30 seconds, mix the solution. And in the last 30 seconds, you'll just let it stand. 
And then once 30 seconds have passed, you're then going to add a little bit of this solution, again, just to sort of wipe out any leftover solution from your previous measurements. And then fill up the cuvette. Give it a quick wipe on the faces of the cuvette. And place the cuvette in your spectrometer. On your Logger Pro software, you can then click Collect. And then your experiment will run for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes have passed, you should get a graph that looks something like this. We're going to need to create two additional plots since you'll be obtaining rate constant values from your graphs. So to do that, what we're going to do is go into Data and click New Calculated Column. So our first graph, we want the natural logarithm of our absorbance values to be plotted against our time. So um, we're going to give our column a name. So our first graph will be our ln of A. So we'll type that in. And you can type in the same thing for the short name value, or for the short name entry. Then in the equation box, we have to define that function. So we'll go into the functions button and select our natural log function, so ln. Now in the parentheses, we have to select the variable that we want it to take the natural log of. So under variables, you're going to select the absorbance. Then you'll click Done. It'll create a column of those values in the table on the left. And then to display that graph, you'll go to Insert and then Graph. And it'll display that plot um, in the window. To create the second plot, you do the exact same thing. So we go into Data, New Calculated Column, and our second plot is the inverse of the absorbance, or 1 over A. So we'll type that in our window here. And in the equation, just type in 1 divided by, and then under variables, choose the same uh, variable, absorbance. Click Done and then go to Insert Graph, and it will display the other graph with that function. So with these two plots, you'll be able to determine the reaction order. The key plot to look at is your natural log plot. If it is linear, and your 1 over absorbance is nonlinear, then you know your reaction is first order. We can get some further information from our log plot by clicking on it to make it active and then select linear fit and it will give us the equation of that line along with uh, the variables, so slope and y-intercept and, and so on. This will allow you to obtain information about your rate constants. So you'll repeat this part of the experiment again for 20 minutes using the crystal violet and the 0 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So when you finish collecting your 20 minute experiment for your 0 0.05 sodium hydroxide and crystal violet solutions, you should get a plot that looks something like this. So we have our first run with the 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and our second run with the 0 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide along with the information uh, about each of those plots. Don't forget to print screen these plots by hitting function print screen and pasting this uh, uh, data in your Word document.